Howdy y'all. So you're thinking about moving to Fairview, Texas. Well, in this video, we're gonna hit the streets, all right? I'm gonna walk you through some different neighborhoods at some different price points so you can see what it's like to live here and what you can get for your budget. And if you stick around all the way till the end, I'll even show you the top listing in all of Fairview so you can kind of see what the ceiling is here. And I'll even show you some of the main attractions along the way. So if that's what you're looking for, then stay tuned because we're getting into it right now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for the most thorough deep dive into all things Dallas, Texas, well, this is the channel that helps you do that. So I invite you to subscribe down below. Make sure you tap the bell for notifications so that you can stay up to date on the current market here in Dallas, Texas. We drop new videos every single week. My name is Jimmy Webb Jr. I'm a local real estate agent, born and raised here, and we're getting tons of calls and emails every single day from people just like you who are ready to make that move here in Dallas, and we absolutely love it. So if you are thinking about buying or selling, here in the Dallas area, then you gotta reach out. You know, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or jump on our calendar if you wanna jump straight to a Zoom call with us. Of course, that is our favorite, but whatever is easiest for you, you know we've got your back. We're making a smooth move here in Dallas or in Fairview, like we're gonna cover today. So before we jump into the neighborhoods, I wanna just give you a brief introduction here of uh, kind of what Fairview is all about, some of the statistics and things like that, right? So. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the location. So, you know, we're, we're going to be about 30 minutes north of downtown Dallas over here uh, in Fairview and then about 30 minutes away from DFW Airport. So it's just a straight shot down 121 uh, to get over there to the airport. Um, you know, very blessed to have a, such a major airport hub here in our backyard right here. But um, uh, median home price is 376 thousand here in Fairview so it's a little bit higher than uh, than some uh, some other suburbs around the DFW area uh, but 77 percent of the population owns their home here so uh, definitely a, a good place where you know people are coming to you know set some roots down and, and raise that family uh, you know you got some great schools here which I'll touch on in a little bit but yeah that population is uh, right now it's right around 9,000 so you know you got to a little bit of a small town, you know, country kind of feel, uh, but it's definitely growing as well. And the median age here is uh, right around 48. So it does skew a little bit older uh, right now. And so, but you do have some some younger families coming in because they're just starting to discover it, right? So you've had some, some people who have been here for a while, right? But Fairview is starting to grow, right? You've got, you know, things like this that they're building and uh, attracting some of that younger crowd a little bit, right? So um, as far as the the job market goes, I mean, it's it's a you have a very strong job market in Plano and Frisco, which is where you likely commute to from here. Uh, of course, that's they're projecting uh, that to have uh, those area, that area of Plano and Frisco to have more square footage of office space than Dallas over the next five years, right? And so. Uh, you could also get to get to downtown Dallas. I'll mention um, at the first uh, home where how you can do that as well. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, but the median household income here is around ninety four thousand. You know, so people are doing pretty well for themselves uh, out here in Fairview. Now uh, the the weather. I know everybody always asks about the weather, of course, and um, of course it doesn't really change uh, from Dallas to you know Fairview out here, but. Uh, you know, I mean, listen, if you can get through the, you know, June, July and August, those are kind of the, the two hot months, then, you know, the rest will be a piece of cake, right? And so, uh, you know, me personally, you know, I've been here my whole life, right? And so I'm, I'm used to the heat. I, I prefer the heat. I, listen, I, I always frame it this way. I would much rather have to deal with, you know, two months of maybe sweating a little bit more than usual versus being cold, having an extended winter time, right? I don't know if I, if I would want to do that, right? So, um, you know, we're, we're working on our tans down here in Texas, right? So, uh, but uh, people all ask about tornadoes too, which is something that I always like to talk about because, uh, you know, listen, uh, I've been here my whole life and I've only ever seen two in my entire life, okay? So, uh, yeah, tornadoes aren't really a thing uh, here in Dallas. Now, can they happen? Yes, they can. But, you know, I mean, 
uh, hail is more common, right? So just make sure you have some good car insurance and you'll be just fine, right? But uh, yeah, the vibe here in Fairview, I mean, it's a, uh, right now it's a pretty, pretty uh, small town vibe, you know, but hardly anyone ever asked about this, really this whole Northeast corridor uh, up here uh, in this part of Dallas. Uh, but it's, it's the fourth ranked school district in DFW and the number six in all of Texas, right? So that means it's ranked higher than Frisco, right? It's ranked higher than Allen, higher than McKinney, right? And so it's literally the best schools in all of Collin County, which is really this kind of Northern area that many of you uh, are looking at. And so, um, yeah, this, this should be a good one. So stay tuned because uh, I'm gonna take you through a bunch of different neighborhoods at some different price points and show you some different styles of living uh, as well. So with that being said, well, let's cruise. All right, welcome to the first neighborhood. Let's jump right into it, shall we? So this home that we're gonna feature in this first price point here is going for 385,000. Four beds, two baths on 2,100 square feet, which is gonna put you at $185 a square foot, built in 2007 on a 0.17 acre uh, corner lot right here. Uh, you are gonna have that two car garage, as you can see right there. And just a side note, if you didn't know, you're definitely gonna wanna have a car out here, uh, really anywhere in DFW. Uh, we're pretty spread out and uh, our public transportation you know, isn't too sophisticated. I mean, it's nothing like, you know, Chicago or New York or much less London, right? Or anything like that. So, uh, but one, uh, one feasible option for you here in Fairview is, so we do have uh, something called the DART rail, which uh, DART stands for Dallas Area Rapid Transit, which uh, you have a, a, a line that runs parallel with Highway 75. And so, uh, but the problem is it, it, the last stop is at Parker Road which would be about uh, around maybe five or six miles away from you uh, here in Fairview. So one strategy that you could use is if, you're, if you are working downtown uh, or if you just wanted to go downtown is, uh, uh, you know, you could, you could drive your car to the Parker Road station and, you know, take the train down into downtown. Of course, uh, you know, depending on where your office is downtown, uh, you can, uh, we can look that up and everything. But uh, yeah, my sister used to work and live downtown so she would walk to work down there but if she wanted to go literally anywhere else you know you had to have your car because it, i mean it's very very spread out out here so uh just so you know but um uh, back to the neighborhood so you're gonna have that brick and stone combination right here which is uh, becoming a very popular style out here in texas uh, especially here in dallas as well of course uh, but you're gonna have on the inside you're gonna have uh, that open floor plan with the high ceilings, you know, fully updated kitchen. You got wood floors throughout. Uh, you've got some some bay windows in the master, even uh, and in the backyard, you've got a, a covered patio with a, a pretty good size, you know, grassy backyard. You could you could put a, a pool back there, absolutely. But uh, yeah, let me give you a shot down the street right here. So uh, yeah, pretty clean streets. You know, you got that. Uh, uh, pretty old growth trees, uh, very mature tree. Well, maybe not very mature. Uh, you know, I could still put my arms around that one, right? So I think that's, I think that's the criteria between uh, pretty mature and very mature is, you know, can you put your arms all the way around it? I think that's, uh, that's the criteria there. But uh, so we'll go with pretty mature uh, trees <laughs> here, uh, uh, right, right here in this neighborhood here. But uh, yeah, everybody, I mean, taking good care of their lawns. I, I'm, I'm hearing lawnmowers, uh, you know, you, you'll see another lawnmower. I just came from another neighborhood actually, but uh, you know, lawnmowers going on. Everybody's taking good care of that, uh, but it's, you know, outside of the lawnmowers, uh, it's, it's pretty quiet back here. I mean, you're, you know, you're pretty tucked away back here, but you're still gonna be really close to, you know, the, all that stuff at the Fairview Town Center. You know, that Stacy Road and Highway 75, there's a ton going on there. I'll show you some of those attractions if you stick around, uh, but you've got access to really everything. The Whole Foods is over there. You got, I mean, uh, literally everything. I'll show you some of that uh, live later on. But uh, let's talk about some of the schools here uh, real quick. So uh, one of the things that people, I mean, people kind of overlook Fairview, I think a lot of times, uh, just, I don't know. It, it just, it doesn't get a lot of press or whatever the reasons are. 
but it's a great neighborhood with great schools there. So the, the school district here, uh, Lovejoy ISD, it was ranked the number sixth best school district in the entire state of Texas, right? And so you're gonna have great schools really across the board uh, out here, uh, you know, here in Fairview. And so uh, we actually did a whole video looking at the top 25 schools in Dallas. So uh, I'll link to that in the description below. Uh, we've got a few videos down there you might wanna check out by the way, but um, yeah, so uh, if you wanna see all the different school districts, you can check that out. Um, but uh, pretty strong athletics here as well. So, you know, now if your child is especially into uh, soccer or tennis or martial arts, uh, I'm pretty connected in those arenas. So, you know, if you wanted to, you know, really find a good coach, a good situation, a good team where, uh, you know, all the goals and everything are aligning with uh, the goals of your child, then, um, you know, definitely reach out and I can help you, uh, uh, you know, put you in, in uh, the right, uh, the right spot. Put in the right with the right people, right? So, um, but yeah. Hey, if you're finding any value from what we talked about so far, hey, please tap that like button down below. It would mean the world to us if you did that. Thank you so much, and make sure you're subscribed while you're down there. I'm telling you, you don't want to miss the next video that we drop. So, uh, make sure you tap the bell for notifications. Uh, of course, I was born and raised here, and I love sharing some of that insider information that I've uh, picked up over the years. So. Uh, but yeah, this should give you a pretty good idea of what you can get for, you know, this kind of an initial starting point. I know it's a little, you know, maybe higher than what you might be uh, expecting, but, you know, this is kind of what, what Fairview is. Uh, this was actually the, the lowest, uh, um, the lowest uh, price listing on the market today. So, uh, you know, just to kind of give you an idea. But uh, yeah, this should give you a good idea of uh, what you can get here. But with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood and I'll see you there. All right, real quick, if you're in Fairview, you gotta know about Celebration Park. This is a massive park that is known for these, you know, like sailing ship style uh, sails above uh, the bathrooms and everything like that. So you'll see one on that over there. You'll see another one right here. You got a uh, water feature on the front where the, that main street is. You got uh, a couple of basketball uh, courts right there. You got four baseball diamonds over there. You've got, uh, of course, the park right here. And then you've got all these uh, soccer fields. And uh, I actually watched the buddy play uh, a rugby game out here one day. Oh, and actually, is that? Looks like, yeah, there are a couple of tennis courts over there too. I actually didn't know that. So uh, might have to come out here and play one day. So uh, anyway, this is, yeah, I mean, there are a ton of kids with their parents out here, you know, having a bunch of, having a grand old time right now. So. Uh, you got to know that this is here. And uh, with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood and I'll see you there. All right, welcome to the second neighborhood. So this home that we're going to feature right here is going for 460,000, three beds, three baths on 2,900 square feet, which is going to put you at $164 a square foot. Uh, this is actually a three car garage. Oh, a beautiful butterfly too. Don't see that? He's up in the tree. Anyway, Monarch Butterfly, beautiful. But uh, three, yeah, three car uh, tandem garage right there, built in 2001 on a 0.15 of an acre. So, you know, less, uh, less yard maintenance to do, although they do have some beautiful landscaping right here in the front. Uh, you're gonna have that traditional brick style right here, but I do see a lot of uh, brick and stone combination here in this community. Uh, but on the inside, you're gonna have that open floor plan that actually looks out to the golf course. We're here in a golf course community. I'll touch more on that in a minute. But uh, uh, the kitchen, you know, could, could use some loving on it, uh, certainly, but uh, definitely 100% functional in there. Uh, but you, do, you also have a lot of uh, older carpet as well. So uh, you probably want to replace that, you know, install some wooden floors, things like that, uh, depending on your preference. Uh, but overall, I mean, this is, this is a fantastic 
community. I mean, of course, I mentioned it's a golf course community, so it feels like almost every home in here uh, at least backs up to the golf course, or you can see it from the front type of thing. I mean, it's really, really cool uh, in here. Uh, every, I mean, again, I feel like every home has just some beautiful landscaping. I mean, look at this, like everybody's yard looks beautiful. You got the flowers in the front. Uh, yeah, you got the brick and stone over there on that side. So we're here on Veterans Day, by the way. So uh, my father was Army Special Forces. So shout out to all you veterans. Thank you so much for your service. Uh, but down, well, look down the street, you know, you can see those big growth trees right there. Uh, very clean streets. And um, yeah, I've seen uh, many people uh, you know, walking their dogs here in the morning, getting that morning power walk in. Uh, but it does skew a little bit older from what I've noticed. Uh, I'll take you over to the country club uh, here after this, uh, so you can see a little bit of that as well, kind of the centerpiece of uh, this neighborhood, of course. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, again, I mean, beautiful, beautiful community just driving through here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but one of the downsides though is, you know, we are over here kind of on the far east side of Fairview. So we're kind of, uh, you're not really close to a lot of, a lot of things. Um, you will have to, it'll be a, at least a 10 minute drive maybe to get, you know, certain places, you know, like the, the closest grocery store is probably going to be the Walmart uh, over there, which is going to be, you know, maybe, maybe eight minutes and 37 seconds away over there. So, uh, you know, you're not going to be really close. I like my grocery stores to be less than five minutes away. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but, uh, you're, I mean, you're also pretty far from uh, the highway as well. So if you really needed to get away, I mean, you're really tucked in over here um, in this community. I mean, it's like paradise in here, but uh, it, you are kind of tucked away uh, from, from everything else. Maybe that's why it's a little bit older uh, crowd. You know, you don't have to, uh, uh, you know, be, be in the hustle and bustle uh, as much, right? But uh, um, one thing though, th this is a, a very popular price point right here. So, you know, of course, uh, homes are moving fairly quickly. That's just something that uh, you have to keep in mind. You're gonna wanna have all of your ducks in a row. Uh, and that's something, of course, we can help you out with if you'd like. But uh, let's talk about something that maybe isn't so popular, which are the property taxes, okay? So, um, listen, I get it, you know, I, you know, people complain about how high the property taxes are here in Texas. And I agree with you, right? They are higher than other states when you compare them. Uh, but you gotta remember, we don't have the state income tax here, which definitely uh, helps us out on that front. We actually did another video where we, we break it all down, okay? And we, we talk about, uh, we do the math and we, we ask the question, okay, is it uh, from a tax standpoint, you know, is it actually, oh, I think they're pulling in. Hey, <laughs> uh, maybe not, but uh, uh, anyway, back to the tax. So uh, we, we ask the question, you know, does or is Texas actually a, a, a better place to be from a tax standpoint uh, compared to some of these other places? And uh, I think you might be surprised by the, uh, the conclusion of that video right there. So uh, check that out. That'll be in the description below. And um, uh, we've got a, a few links down there, by the way, that you might find interesting. Uh, so uh, check those out after this video. And I say, you know, after this video, but uh, here in Fairview, of course, the property tax rate, uh, at least currently, is 2.22%, uh, which is on the lower range. Of course, you know, here in DFW, the range goes anywhere from 1.8 to 3.4%. So um, definitely one of the lower uh, as far as suburbs go. So uh, that's going to be another attractive feature here about Fairview. But uh, of course, listen, we love helping our clients get into homes that they feel really, really good about. But uh, of course, we can't help you if you don't reach out. So give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, uh, or jump on our calendar if you wanna jump uh, straight to a Zoom call with us. Uh, I feel our team is the best in the world at finding you your dream home at the right price. So uh, we're crushing a bunch of deals right now and look forward to you doing the same with you. So, uh, but this should give you a pretty good idea of what you can get in uh, this $500,000 price point. There's a cute little pup. Hi. <laughs> hey there. So 
Uh, but with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood and I'll see you there. All right, real quick, I wanted to show you the actual country club over here in this neighborhood. So, of course, you're gonna have the uh, putting green right there. You've actually got a couple of them. You've got a gentleman uh, working on his chip game right there. And then you've got the driving range on that side. Everybody's super nice over there. You got uh, the pool over here, very, very nice pool over here. And then, of course, the actual clubhouse right here where you can come in and relax on the 19th hole. And then you've got some tennis courts over there on that side. So. Yeah, super friendly. Everybody, when I was walking by the driving range, everybody was waving and uh, saying good morning and everything like that. And then, uh, of course, you can see the homes over in the distance where, I mean, you've got plenty of homes over here, uh, you know, backing up right onto the actual golf course over here. So, and that is one thing is uh, in this neighborhood, I've seen many, many people uh, with their own golf carts, golf carts. Uh, if I could speak today, that'd be awesome. But uh, with their own golf cart. So if you if you come into this neighborhood, that might be might be an additional uh, uh, investment that you might uh, really consider actually. So you, I know you can get a good one for you know anywhere like three to five grand, and you know you can obviously you know pimp it out and uh, do some some uh, crazy things with golf carts these days. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's a, a pretty good idea of what's going on here. But with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood, and I'll see you there. All right, welcome to the third neighborhood. I wanted to show you some new construction because there's quite a bit of new construction going on out here. So this home that will feature is going for 499,000, three beds, two and a half baths on 2,900 square feet, which is gonna put you at $174 a square foot. Uh, you are gonna have a two car garage on the back side that you'll access via the alleyway. On uh, really, these are all basically uh, zero lots right here. So. Uh, I'll give you a, a look at uh, a finished product over here. But uh, look, across the street, you're gonna have a nice little green belt that, uh, that you, you'll be facing right here. But uh, yeah, listen, uh, I just wanted to show you that new construction, of course, does exist out here. And uh, right now, the price range is anywhere from around 400,000 up to about 525, right? So here's a look at uh, some of the finished products right here. I'll, go, I'll show you one more. But uh, yeah, if you have a, a flexible timeline and you, know, you don't mind maybe waiting uh, you know, a few months uh, to get into something brand new, then uh, of course we can help you make that happen. So uh, yeah, with that being said, let me take you to the next neighborhood and I'll see you there. All right, welcome to the fourth neighborhood. So this home that we're gonna feature right here is going for 525,000 five beds, three and a half baths on 3,400 square feet, which is gonna put you at $153 a square foot. You're gonna have the two car garage, as you can see behind me, and built in 2006 on a 0.15 of an acre. So, you know, less uh, yard maintenance. Uh, speaking of, you might be able to hear the uh, gentleman doing the lawn mowing in the background, but uh, hopefully you can hear me just fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, smaller lots, uh, you do have a, a good size, backyard in the back, but uh, you're gonna have this traditional brick and stone combination. You'll see, I've seen a lot of this actually in this neighborhood. I'll take you down uh, so we can see a little bit more, but on the inside here, you're gonna have that open floor plan, the vaulted ceilings, the updated kitchen, you know, wood floors throughout, uh, that second living area upstairs as well. And then uh, I mentioned that, uh, that good size backyard. You don't have a pool back there just yet, but. I mean, you could easily uh, put one in back there. So let's see, uh, you can kind of see, they do have some good landscaping uh, back there along the edge of the fence uh, back there actually. So uh, putting a pool back there would look uh, really nice actually. So, um, but yeah, as far as, you know, this community goes, I mean, it's, you're gonna have some, some good, uh, I mean, everybody's taking care of their lawns. You've got some landscaping going on as well. Here, I'll give you a shot down the street here as well. I mean, you've got some you know, clean streets. You've got a little boulevard 
down there with some parking, you know, that, that takes, uh, that goes into the boulevard a little bit. So you know, if you have uh, a bunch of family over for Thanksgiving or something like that, then uh, you'll have plenty uh, of parking uh, over here. But um, yeah, really, uh, I mean, you're gonna have these big, you know, uh, mature trees in here as well. Uh, yeah, really nice. Oh, and then you actually have, you have a couple of these. So off of this street, you have this, uh, these little cul-de-sac streets as well. It's, uh, so there's a, there's a few of these actually uh, along here. But uh, yeah, really uh, uh, pretty cool little, little neighborhood right here. So, uh, but let's talk about the safety real quick uh, of Fairview in general, of course. Uh, it got rated as a B, which I, I thought was a lower than I was expecting. Um, you know, and, and looking at uh, all of the actual statistics, you know, uh, everything was well, well below uh, national averages and everything like that. Um, I would consider it, I would consider Fairview uh, very safe. You know, um, you're not going to have, um, you know, much of any, if any, uh, homeless people, you know, hanging around and everything like that. Um, you know, pretty, pretty safe neighborhood is Fairview. Uh, from my perspective at least but um yeah this uh you know, i love how the the colors are starting to to come in you know the reds the oranges the yellows things like that uh, it's getting to be about that time of year right now so uh, anyway with that being said uh, this should give you a pretty good idea of you know what you can kind of get in that five six hundred thousand uh, dollar price range of course you know, if you bump it up, a, a, you know, a couple more hundred thousand, uh, you'll get, you'll just get a little bit more space. Uh, I think that one was already five bedrooms, right? So, uh, you know, you, you'll have five bedrooms, you know, maybe get to an additional bathroom as well, a full bath type of thing, right? So uh, maybe a bigger, a bigger yard as well. Uh, so as you bump up the price point, those are the, the things that uh, you'll start to see as well as, you know, uh, having, adding maybe a theater room or a game room uh, type of thing as well. So, uh, good, uh, that should be, you know, give you an idea of what you can expect here. But, uh, with that being said, it is now time for the top listing. So, uh, without further ado, let's head over there. See you there. All right, are you ready for the top listing in all of Fairview? Well, here she is. This one is going for 2.2 million, seven beds, six and a half baths on 7,600 square feet. You're gonna have a four car garage through, through that driveway right there. And uh, this home was built in 2016 on three full acres back here. So, you know, as soon as you walk in to this luxurious custom home, you know, you're greeted by a dual staircase right there in the front with a, a Juliet balcony up top, great for prom pictures or something like that. Uh, you know, you've got the, the great room that features a, a dramatic, you know, floor to ceiling stone fireplace uh, and two story windows that brings a ton of natural light into that gourmet kitchen right there in the open floor plan. And then off of the kitchen is your, it's a stone wine room in there and then uh, next to that you've got the media room as well and uh, so the master suite I mean listen this master suite feels like I mean it's like a spa back there I mean there, there are literally columns on the corners of the tub I mean it's something else over there and then you've also got a workout room a game room and you even have a pet shower over here as well so your pooch can be completely clean uh, every single day right and so uh, if you are looking for luxury country living in a great great location then uh, this one could be calling your name right here but let's do a nice little recap here on Fairview real quick so again I mean you're gonna have some of the best schools in Texas right here uh, with one of the lowest tax rates of course and so uh, very attractive from both of those standpoints you're gonna find uh, some generally newer 
homes with 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 pretty mature trees, right? Uh, sometimes very mature trees, but you know, overall, I mean, you're gonna have you know some pretty tall trees and everything like that. If you're if you're doing some comparisons, you know, I think. Uh, one comparison has got to be uh, with Frisco uh, over there, of course, and then a lot of it is going to be, you know, with this kind of north, uh, northeast corridor over here, you know, Wiley, Lucas, Parker, Murphy, um, you know, of course, Allen, your next door neighbor right there as well. And then a little bit, I mean, this kind of thing feels like South Lake in a little bit, uh, in a way, uh, a little bit right here as well. So, of course, depending on your price point, right? So, uh, but yeah, three words that uh, we always do to kind of summarize a fair view up here is, I mean, definitely the top notch schools uh, that, that kind of gets overlooked over here a little bit. Uh, but then you're gonna have that small town feel though still. Uh, and then you're gonna have great, you know, access to a ton of shopping and restaurants over here. So, hey, if, if Fairview is where you want to be, then you got to reach out, you know, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or jump on our calendar if you want to jump straight to a Zoom call with us. And uh, if, you, if you found value from this, hey, please tap that like button down below. It would mean the world to us if you did that. Thank you so much. Make sure you're subscribed while you're down there as well. And hey, if you are continuing your research here, I want to invite you, you know, tap on the Dallas, Texas living name down below. That'll take you to our main channel page where you can use the search bar on that page to look up whatever it is that you're looking for. You know, odds are I've, we've already covered it, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, you're looking for a a specific topic about Dallas or a specific area that you're trying to learn more about. Um, you know, odds are, again, we've covered it, but if I haven't, drop me a comment down below. I monitor uh, every single comment, respond back to everybody. So let's get the conversation going uh, down there. Sometimes the comment sections are, are pretty fun too. So uh, let's get that going down there. But if you don't know where to go from here, then you should see some videos popping up on the end screen right now. They can definitely point you in the right direction. So. Uh, if you don't know where to go, then uh, definitely click on one of those, whichever one is popping out to you. Of course, we do a ton of different styles of videos on, here on this channel. So uh, with that uh, being said, until the next video, I'll see you around town.